So it was maybe a month ago that I brought my boat out and it was just myself and my wife out. We were going up through the river and I did a, a just a gentle U-turn to port side. Uh, I don't know if that matters at all or not, but the moment I turned around, I lost, essentially, I lost full throttle. So first I thought having the old gray fuel line on it, which everybody says is a piece of junk, uh, I thought maybe I stretched it and maybe a part of the lining came off and well that's why I mentioned that I went to port side because that would be putting slack in the line. Regardless, it's not to say a part of the liner didn't let go. So we putted back, uh, full throttle was still giving me 12 kilometers an hour. I don't know what that is, uh, five knots maybe. So quite a bit different, 12 kilometers an hour versus the 52 that I topped out at with my wife and child aboard uh, a couple days before that. So um, yeah, we put it back to the, to the boat launch and trailered the boat and went home. And I said, well, it's gotta be that gray fuel line. So I went to Canadian Tire and of course, proper Canadian Tire fashion, the only fuel line they carry is the gray fuel line, but at least it's new. So I spent a hundred dollars for the, uh, the fuel line and a new connection for the tank, just in case it was, uh, seeping or, uh, losing the, its seal and air was getting in. I checked the screen in the tank. I had that out. Everything was clear. So, you know, trying to mitigate whatever, because I couldn't, I couldn't pump the ball up hard, the, the fuel prime bulb. So I put the new fuel line on at home and a couple pumps and the bulb went rock hard. I said, well, may, perhaps that was my issue. It was just sucking air. So we went back out in the boat the next day and it was the exact same issue. And it was hot enough on the water that with no wind, I couldn't go fast enough to create wind. So that was a, you know, a half hour drive for a 10 minute boat ride. But at least we had AC in the truck, right? Yeah. Find the find the positives. Anyway, I'm back here now. I'm, I'm down to Bridgetown in Nova Scotia. I'm at Queen Elizabeth Jubilee Park. It's a cute little park here in a cute little town, but they've got a boat launch here and uh, floating docks so you can tie up six boats there. It's not a permanent thing, but it's a uh, means to tie up your boat and get your vehicle out of the way. So that's where I am now. Um, so yeah, I've got the fuel line changed out. And this morning I just put in three new NGK plugs. I made sure that they were gapped to 30 thou. And I took out the jets out of all three carbs. The bottom carb was ridiculous. I had to make two screwdrivers out of uh, some hinge pin in order to get down in there because the, the lower casing is in the way of any screwdriver or anything at all getting in. But um, the top one was perfectly clear. There was debris in the middle one and I couldn't see light through the bottom one. So something went up the fuel line. So here's the test. I don't have much time. I'm on night shift tonight. So I've got to be to work for 2.30 or so. It's 10 after 10 now. So essentially I'm I'm down here to see if the boat works and see what she can do with just me aboard. Hopefully it's more than 12 kilometers an hour for the last time in the water. Here's hoping. Well, here's fingers crossed. Like I said, with the new plugs in, this is the best it's ever idled right here. So there's one thing that I've noticed right off the bat. I put it in reverse, backed away from the dock. I went back to neutral and the RPMs shot right up. Uh, it took a while for it to, I guess, essentially burn off and go back down. So there's there's something, something slowly going back into place with that. But um, try the throttle and see what happens. So far, so good. It's running really good except for that high RPM lag. And just to give an idea, I brought the uh, I brought the laptop as well. I've got Gaia GPS running on that, and it's showing I'm doing 11.5 kilometers an hour now. So where I topped out at 12 at uh, at full throttle, this was full throttle for a 70 horsepower. Clearly, something needed to be addressed. Let's see what she does. Maybe she'll die. Maybe she'll take right off. Thank you. 
maybe it was the bugs after all. It's very surprising how there's not a lot of difference whether I have my wife and child aboard or not. I got 52 kilometers an hour with them aboard and I'm only doing 53.7. But boy, it's a lot better than 12. Awesome. A set of plugs, a little bit of compressed air and a little bit of time. Back to Golden. I'm back to an idle now. I'm I'm still in gear at an idle. I'll just see if I put it in neutral if the RPMs don't go up like they did before. Um, yeah, apart from that, according to uh, the GPS on Gaia, I hit uh, 55 kilometers an hour. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. Uh, I can hear. Maybe I've just got the RPM set a little too high. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely high RPM there, but it's not the spike of what I had back at the dock. When I put it in uh, neutral from reverse, it went exceptionally higher than this for a few seconds before it died back down. I'll have a little little fiddle fart with the with the idle control there and see if I can't get that dialed in. And just like that, I've got it turned down where the idle sounds good. But when I put it into gear, it's quite a lag, so I think I'll have to put it up a little bit. I mean, I'm a fine, uh, fine trolling speed, but she's not going to stay running like that. She'll she'll shut off at this at this low RPM. But I put it back into idle. <sighs> Sounds about right, but I'll have to turn it up a little bit. I'll leave it in gear. It's just me on the river. As long as I'm watching the banks, I should be able to leave it in gear and go back there and turn it up to what's right. So the beauty of being the only person on the river today, I just uh, cut the wheel hard over and I've, I've just been doing circles right here in the same spot while I uh, mess with the idle. So it's hard to say. I wonder if my issue might not be the cable itself. Maybe the cable is sticking in the housing, I don't know, causing it not to go back. Maybe that's what creating that RPM spike. When it goes back to neutral, it's still getting supplied fuel until that slowly slides back in its housing. I don't know, but right now it's actually idling in gear. So that's a new thing for me with this motor. I couldn't do it ever before. And into neutral, of course, RPM loads off, but it's not a, it's not a spike like at the dock. I'm going to leave it right where it is. I'm going to run down the river for a bit. I don't have a lot of time left before i got to trailer it and get ready for work, but we'll see what we can do. So far, it's, uh, it's turned out to be a really good day. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Something just happened there. Somehow with the setup that I have, I went to go full throttle. Actually, I just went to throttle up and it starved. So whatever happened, I just replicated the problem from a couple weeks ago. There's fuel.
that, I'm slowly coming back down. Well, they are still high, but something sticking. Shouldn't do that. That's hard on the dog gear. There's barely any throttle there now. Maybe 25% movement. Half throttle with slow response. I have no idea. No idea. I've changed absolutely nothing since it shut down. I don't know. It's a mystery. I don't like having mysteries. Time to turn around and go back to work anyway, like I said. attention to what you're doing I just uh, I just spent five minutes going back up the river and I saw some people uh, tied up alongside on a pontoon boat probably six or eight of them aboard I thought it's kind of considerate you know I'll slow down so I minimize the wake as I'm going by and uh, a couple minutes after that it kind of kind of struck me as I don't remember seeing that boat on my way down. So, a few more minutes went by. There's a couple of kayakers behind me. I don't remember seeing kayakers. So rather than disturb them with the wake, I came to an idol and I opened up Google Maps. And uh, more concerned about my speed and my trim and how the engine's running and all that. I was doing all the circles in gear at an idle. When I came out of it, I was heading up, not down the river. So when I decided I'd gone far enough and said it's time to get ready to go back to work, well, I started to head away from my truck at full throttle. So now I'm going to put the phone aside and uh, head back past them again and slow down to make sure there's not much wake and then carry on back to my truck in the right direction one of those days 